I think other people were thinking that, you know, I had a feeling, you know, they're probably thinking what I thought, you know, it reminds me or reminds them of the first time you heard Adele. That VT, by the way, the film before she sang, when it went into silence. The shocking new information that Eric and Adam Cowell, the sons of the well-known Simon Cowell, have revealed about their father has caused them to make headlines. The entertainment industry has been thrown into disarray as a result of this statement, which is not an ordinary one. Imagine that you come across a piece of information that is so profound that it shifts everything you thought you knew about a particular person. Exactly this is the significance of the most recent revelation made by Simon's children. What uttered their words? At this point, why are they disclosing it? Furthermore, what does this imply for Simon? As we reveal the shocking truth about Simon Cowell, we invite you to join us. This is the mystery that surrounds Simon's two sons. Since a long time ago, Simon Cowell has been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. He is widely recognized all over the world as the scathing judge who serves on talent shows such as American Idol and The X Factor. As a result of his forthright criticisms and his excellent ability to identify talent, he has become a well-known figure. More importantly, his emotional marriage to Lauren Silverman, who is widely regarded as one of the most stunning women in the entertainment industry, has been a major topic of discussion. Lauren was previously married to Andrew Silverman, a real estate tycoon, and comes from a wealthy New York family. Andrew Silverman was Lauren's previous husband. Furthermore, Lauren had a child from her previous marriage, a young boy named Adam Silverman. This child was Lauren's first child. According to Simon, the fact that Lauren's previous marriage ended in divorce and the fact that he has a deep love for Lauren made it absolutely necessary for him to acknowledge Adam as his son. The fact that Simon and Lauren's affairs were conducted in public at the beginning of their relationship made things a great deal more difficult for them. On the other hand, Simon and Adam eventually developed a relationship that was both respectful and affectionate. Both Simon and Lauren have made efforts to establish a family dynamic that includes Adam. Despite the fact that there was some tension in the early years of their relationship, due to the circumstances surrounding their relationship. The fact that Andrew and Lauren have come to an agreement regarding Adam's custody gives him the opportunity to spend time with both of his parents. This makes the situation much simpler. It is at this point that things become even more intriguing. In 2013, the relationship between Simon and Lauren was the first to garner media attention when it became public knowledge that Lauren was expecting a child for the judge on America's Got Talent. During this time, she was still married to Andrew, but she was forced to go public with Simon, which marked the beginning of their relationship in the eyes of the public. This lovely love story turned into a whirlwind of scandal, a custody battle, and legal actions brought by Andrew because of his actions. An ex-husband of Lauren let out a sigh. The fact that this did not deter Simon and Lauren from continuing their love journey cannot be denied, and as a result, Eric was born. According to Simon and Lauren Cowell, their biological child, Eric Philip Cowell, was born on Valentine's Day in 2014. His birth was like something out of a fairy tale. Simon, who became a father for the first time at the age of 54, experienced a major turning point in his life when he became a father for the first time. The arrival of his biological son was a watershed moment in his life, as it revolutionized his life, which had previously been centered around being a bachelor into one that was centered around family. Simon had a reputation for being averse to fatherhood prior to the birth of Eric. He frequently asserted that he was not suited to be a father during this time. But Eric's birth changed everything for him, giving Simon a deeper sense of purpose. Later on, Simon stated that being a father was something that just clicked for him right away. Eric's birth changed everything for him. It didn't take long for the news of Eric's birth to spread across the media, which had already been preparing themselves for the scandal that the couple had been involved in the previous year. The fact that one of the most famous figures in the entertainment industry had recently become a father was celebrated by journalists from all over the world who wrote headlines about it. In the midst of this media frenzy, Simon and Lauren were simply overjoyed and they chose to share the news with their immediate family and friends first. A confirmation of the birth was posted on Twitter by Simon on the same day, along with an expression of his happiness and gratitude for the support he had received. The day that Eric was born, 
Simon Cowell was in London, listening in on the auditions for Britain's Got Talent. He was located all the way across the Atlantic Ocean because he was in London. As soon as Simon got the phone call that would change his life forever, informing him that Lauren had gone into labor, he did not waste any time and immediately flew to New York to be physically present with Lauren. Lenox Hill Hospital was the location where Eric was born, and Simon was able to make it back in time to be present for his son's first moments in the world. He has stated on numerous occasions that the first time he saw Eric was one of the most emotionally charged experiences he has ever had in his life. The late Eric Selig Philip Cowell, who was Simon's father, inspired the naming of his son, Eric. The fact that Simon chose to honor his father in such a personal manner did not come as a surprise because he has frequently expressed his gratitude for his father's sage advice, his generosity, and the impact he has had on his own life. The moment of Eric's birth, which Simon confirmed with a straightforward and heartfelt message, was a rare moment of vulnerability for the celebrity, who is typically very private. There is a widespread belief that Simon Cowell now approaches his relationship with his family from the perspective of a father. Over the course of his life, he had been romantically involved with a great number of women. However, marriage never appeared to be a possibility for him. Even when he was in a relationship with Lauren Silverman, Simon was initially hesitant to get married. This was the case despite the fact that they had a strong bond and that they both played significant roles in raising Eric. One thing that sets this scenario apart from others is that Simon has been influenced by Eric's presence in his life, to the point where he has finally proposed to her in the year 2021. Simon has developed a close relationship with his two sons, Adam Silverman, Lauren's son from her previous marriage, and Eric Cowell, his biological son. Although Simon is an unconventional father figure, he has established a significant relationship with his two sons. Although the world can claim to know Simon Cowell with his distinctly charismatic personality, his children, Eric and Adam, see a different personality in him, and they have consistently stated what they feel about him. This is according to sources that are close to the family. In spite of the fact that Adam, Simon's stepson, has spent the majority of his life in New York with his biological father, Andrew Silverman, the children have a fundamentally different perspective on Simon. Adam is able to spend time with both of his parents with the custody arrangement that has been made. This, however, does not alter the fact that Andrew has been his permanent residence throughout his entire life thus far. Adam has been able to keep his relationship with his biological father strong thanks to this arrangement, while at the same time establishing meaningful connections with both his half-brother Eric and his biological father. And despite the fact that he does not reside with Simon on a permanent basis, Adam is a treasured member of their family. Taking everything into consideration, Simon has made certain that Adam is made to feel at home in the Cowell household. Adam's opinions regarding Simon have been significantly shaped as a result of this opportunity. Further evidence that Simon has done a good job is the fact that Eric and Adam have a close relationship with one another. Despite the fact that Adam is significantly older than Eric, the two half-brothers have developed a close relationship over the course of time. Adam, who has experienced what it is like to be subjected to intense public scrutiny as a result of his mother's relationship with Simon, has played and will most likely continue to play a guiding role in Eric's life for many years to come at this point. It is a reflection of the efforts that Simon and Lauren have made to ensure that both of their sons feel loved and supported within their blended family, that they have a connection with one another. Adam has been seen attending a variety of events with Simon and Lauren over the course of the years, particularly when they were attending family gatherings. Despite the fact that Simon has made it a point to keep the majority of his private life hidden from the perspective of the public, there have been occasions when the family has been seen together. There have been instances in which Adam has been observed forming a bond with Simon and Eric, his half-brother, whether they were in a local park or while on vacation. These sightings are a reflection of the gradual and positive development of Simon's relationship with Adam, as well as the shift in a man who those in the entertainment industry once believed would never be tied down. Eric has noticed that the similarities between himself and Simon have become more pronounced as he has grown older. The dark hair and facial features that Eric possesses are unmistakable indicators that he is his father's son, in addition to having the same strong will and sharp sense of humor as him. According to Eric, 
Simon registered him as a member of Soho House because he loves him so much that he created a membership for him. Private Members Club Soho House is well known for its high level of exclusivity and the celebrity clientele that frequents it. Because it still maintains some of the characteristics that it had when it was first established as a networking space for creatives, it came as a complete surprise when Eric Cowell became the club's youngest member ever. This membership, on the other hand, was made available to the young man by his doting father as a present, highlighting the numerous connections that exist between the two of them. At the age of four, Eric became a member of the Soho House, which is a club that maintains an international network of clubs and spaces, including hotels and restaurants. This may have seemed excessive to some people. This would be primarily due to the fact that Eric would not even be able to take advantage of the majority of the functions that are offered by the private club for many years to come. Nevertheless, this membership demonstrates the family's connection to the entertainment industry and provides a hint about the legacy that Eric is now an heir to. At the same time that Simon is very protective of his son's privacy, he is also eager to expose Eric to certain aspects of his world. This early introduction to such a prestigious club demonstrates that Simon is both of these things. To assist him in developing connections that could prove beneficial to him in the future, Eric has made a few brief but endearing appearances on America's Got Talent, which is in keeping with this, as Simon continues to serve as a judge on the show. Eric revealed that he was always backstage, either observing his father in action or making an appearance during humorous moments on screen. He did this on occasion. These brief appearances provide a hint that Eric is becoming increasingly interested in his father's work, despite the fact that Simon has made an effort to keep Eric out of the spotlight. Following the comments made by fans regarding how at ease Eric appears to be in the entertainment industry, rumors have begun to circulate regarding the possibility that he will follow in his father's footsteps. This appears to be especially certain in light of the fact that Eric is becoming increasingly interested in music and the young man has expressed a desire to be a member of a music band. Simon, who has spent decades scouting out musical talent, has been delighted by this interest. It is said that he has been supporting his son's aspirations and is helping to cultivate Eric's creative potential without exerting too much pressure on him. Regarding the possibility that Eric might one day make an appearance on one of Simon's talent shows, such as The X Factor, if he were to pursue music as a serious career, there has been some light-hearted speculation about the possibility. Simon has expressed how unsettling that would be for him. But of course, there is always the possibility of hope. Currently, Simon is simply taking pleasure in his son's enthusiasm. He frequently engages in musical activities with him and introduces him to a variety of musical styles in order to stoke his passion. It's true. It should come as no surprise that Eric attributes his privilege in Hollywood to his father given the connections that Simon Cowell has in the entertainment industry and the numerous red carpet events that he has attended. Eric has had the opportunity to meet the children of some of Simon's closest friends in the industry through a variety of social events, such as family get-togethers and vacations. It is evident that Eric is growing up surrounded by families who, like his own, are navigating life in the spotlight. Although these relationships are largely kept private, it is clear that Eric is growing up in this environment. Eric is able to develop friendships with peers who understand the unique challenges and privileges of being raised in the public eye as a result of the relationship between these children. This provides him with a sense of normalcy within a world that is anything but ordinary. More than just a desire to be a member of a rock band, Eric's fascination with music extends far beyond that. Drumming is something that he has taken a particular interest in. He asserts that his father, Simon, has been encouraging throughout the process, providing him with drum lessons as well as the instruments that had been necessary for him to hone his skills. Instead of directing Eric down a particular musical path, Simon has given his son the opportunity to explore his passion while allowing him to do so naturally. He has also frequently expressed his pride in Eric's dedication, mentioning how his son's passion for music reminds him of the musicians he has guided over the years. He has also mentioned how proud he is of Eric's dedication. With Simon frequently playing alongside him or cheering him on during practice, they have found that drumming has become a fun way for them to bond with one another. The most important thing is that Simon has a tremendous amount of love for Eric, 
and Simon has always asserted that Eric completely altered the course of his life. Simon's life was altered as a result of the children. Before he found out that Eric was expected to arrive soon, Simon had been following a course of action that many people, including himself, had referred to as self-destructive. Simon was emotionally drained as a result of his relentless work schedule, personal struggles, and the death of his father several years ago. Other factors included the loss of his father. He admitted in interviews that he was on the verge of going into an emotional downward spiral and that he was unsure of the direction that his life was going to take. Upon hearing the news that Lauren was expecting Eric, he experienced a significant change in his position. In subsequent statements, Simon has stated that the realization that he was going to become a father provided him with a revitalized sense of purpose and something to anticipate. One of the most difficult experiences that Simon Cowell has ever had to go through was the death of both of his parents. In 1999, his father passed away, and in 2015, his mother, Julie Cowell, passed away. Both of these deaths occurred not long after Eric was born. On the other hand, he has acknowledged that Eric was instrumental in his health recovery during these trying times. Simon was able to recover and move on with his life because he had the emotional strength to do so after experiencing the joy and purpose that came with being a father. In many respects, Eric served as Simon's anchor, rescuing him from the depression he was experiencing and providing him with a reason to concentrate on the future. The consistency of this theme would be maintained over the course of many years, with Eric consistently being able to keep Simon under control. Following the implementation of one of the most significant lifestyle adjustments that Simon has ever made, particularly after he was born, Eric did it once more. After much deliberation, Simon chose to give up smoking. Despite the fact that Simon had been a smoker for a considerable amount of time, he found that he was motivated to quit the habit for the sake of his son. The fact that Simon had previously struggled with his health meant that giving birth to a child caused him to reevaluate the decisions he had made in the past. In interviews, Simon stated that he wanted to quit because he wanted to be there for his son and set a good example for him. He attributed his decision to quit to Eric as the primary catalyst for his decision. The mere idea of witnessing Eric's development without the presence of his father was sufficient to convince Simon to give up smoking for good permanently. In addition to that, that is not even all. Over the course of his development from a child to a fundamental component of the expansion of the family, Eric has brought about a multitude of changes for Simon, ranging from significant life-altering choices to more insignificant ones. It is possible that Simon is well known for his polished appearances. However, he has admitted in the past that he has used Botox and fillers excessively. This is a practice that he eventually stopped using, in part because of Eric. In spite of the fact that he had been using cosmetic enhancements for years in order to keep his youthful appearance, Simon finally reached a turning point when Eric started asking him questions about his appearance and even laughing at him once because of his appearance. When Simon became aware of the possible message he was conveying to his son, he made the decision that it was time for him to adopt a more natural appearance. In a public statement, he explained that becoming a father altered his perspective on how he wanted to be perceived, particularly by his own child. As a result, he decided to completely give up Botox and fillers to his face. Not only that, but Simon had always considered London to be his home. So it came as a surprise to him when he moved away from the bustle and activity of England's most famous city to a more tranquil and family-friendly environment in the countryside of the Cotswolds. After a break-in in 2015, when burglars entered his home while he and his family were sleeping, Simon has openly stated that he made the move because he did not feel safest in London. This is especially true after the breach that occurred in 2015. And with Eric's well-being in mind, Simon would go on to successfully relocate his son away from the dangers of city life in order to provide him with a more grounded and peaceful upbringing. The burglars would make off with loot that was valued at up to $1 million. Due to the fact that they were able to spend more time away from distractions as a result of this relocation, it should not come as a surprise to learn that Simon plays with young Eric. One of the things that has inspired Simon to get into better shape is the fact that he is able to play with his young son, who is full of energy. Because of the way he lived his life, which was centered on his work, Simon did not always put his health first. Simon, on the other hand, 
has been motivated to improve his fitness by getting out and running around with Eric, whether they are at home or at the beach. In this sense, being a father has not only been a source of emotional development for Simon, but it has also contributed to his physical healthy development. It is a common joke among him that Eric keeps him on his toes, and that the best workout routine he has ever had is the one that involves him keeping up with his son's boundless energy of running around. On the other hand, everything appears to be a game until a terrible event occurs. Now, after making the decision to take better care of his health, one of the steps that Simon took was to begin by improving his diet and engaging in regular physical activity. On the other hand, Simon sustained a severe back injury in the year 2020 while he was testing an electric wheelchair. The accident resulted in surgery, and the recovery process took several months. Over the course of his rehabilitation, Simon never lost sight of the fact that he needed to get back into shape for the sake of his family, particularly Eric, who remained supportive throughout the entire process. The process of his recovery has been gradual but consistent, and Simon has continued to place a high priority on his health. He is resolute in his commitment to be an active and engaged father to his son. When we talk about being an active presence in your child's life, one of the more unexpected turns that Simon Cowell has taken in his journey as a father is his decision to co-write a children's book series with Eric. The series is called Wish Fits. They both have a passion for telling stories and using their imaginations, which led to the conception of this creative endeavor. A story that has been described as being heartwarming and aimed at young readers has been the subject of the book that the two individuals have been working on together. In a manner that is characteristic of Simon, the book deal includes plans to donate a portion of the proceeds to charity. This support for charitable causes is consistent with Simon's long-standing commitment to the cause. In the same vein as what is becoming more common among philanthropists, Simon has also made it known to the public that he does not intend to leave his enormous fortune to Eric after he passes away. In its place, he intends to give away his wealth to charitable organizations and causes that he is deeply committed to, such as the welfare of animals. He is of the opinion that Eric ought to learn the value of hard work and not rely solely on his inheritance, which is the reasoning that underpins this decision. It is important to think of this as an expression of love that has only grown more profound as Eric has grown older and has become more approachable as well. The children have revealed something about their father, and what are your thoughts on this? Are you of the opinion that this excessive love might have a negative impact in the future? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. For additional content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Furthermore, please click on the video that is displayed on your screen. You are going to take pleasure in it.